Surgeon Jan Stanek will be chipping away that aging facade. Hairdresser Andrew Barton's responsible for rethatching. And dentist Surinder Hundle will restore the stone. And she wants the job done and dusted for the start of term in just eight weeks' time. Yeah, and you are looking at a lifetime of sun damage and smoking. Yeah. What do you think has been the most damaging factor to Janice's face? She has all the signs of sun damage. I mean, she's got patchy pigmentation. She's got all these little mm. brown spots everywhere, mm. right? Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is that she does have very rough skin. Obviously, the skin has lost, for her age, the skin has lost a lot of elasticity. I mean, the only thing she doesn't have is early skin cancers. Yeah. That's the only thing. Mm. The, that's the next stage, you know, mm. five or ten years later. Wow. You, start, you start developing cancers. Wow, Janice. How does that make you feel? Frightened. Yeah. So, Jan, what is the solution? The first thing, obviously, is prevention. So she mustn't um, uh, expose herself to direct sunlight. Does that include sunbeds? That is <laughs> sunbeds, absolutely. So I can never go in the sun again? No, not at all. No, I think, I think it would be crazy to do that. Mm -hmm. Chemical peel is very, very good for this, for this right. particular situation. Mm -hmm. She has very, very deep wrinkles, and I don't think the peel would actually get rid of them all. <clears throat> so we might have to use laser to resurface just the upper lip. She has baggy eyes, so we would take some of the skin away. Then, of course, she has a lot of sagging in the face, so what we would do is just tighten up those features, mm -hmm. especially around the jawline. Meet Janice. <laughs> wow, Janice, wow. Wow, this is wild. Janice has a lot of phobias. About yeah. with hairdressers, don't you? Jan? Petrified of hairdressers. I don't. Yeah. Why don't you trust them, Jan? Because when I ask them to take that much off, they take that much yeah. off. Yeah. Well, a lot of hairdressers don't treat know. curly yeah. hair like they do with straight hair, exactly. and it shouldn't be treated yeah. that way. Do you think it's aging her? Yes, it's it's just ridiculous. I think it looks a bit like a fried wig. I mean, I I don't want to chop it off. Yeah, Let's not chop it off. No, I like the. But let me show you how to work with this curl. I mean. You've got some great curl there. Do you trust him? I need to know now. Yes, OK, I'll trust him. <laughs> <laughs> I will trust you. I think you're leaving it long. So, when Janice seems to have some really good teeth. I mean, do you think they're ageing her? Looking at them, they're quite discoloured okay. from tea, coffee, and maybe not getting them cleaned as well as you should do. If you look at the smile, and you can see that the teeth almost come in very narrow towards the front, and you've got all these areas yeah, here which are empty on the sides. Exactly. So what I would do here, I, was, I would actually broaden your smile. To, if you smile again, you see a lot of these dark areas here, yeah. because your arch is very narrow. So you've got a lot of room where we can actually build up the teeth and actually fill it. It'll actually right. give you more support around your lips as well right. and it'll make the smile look a lot prettier.